There's not much I remember about my birth, except for that it was the most traumatizing experience of my life. But elementary school? Elementary school is great. I was the self-declared king of the playground, knighting my playmates and waging wars on the girls I had crushes on. I made comic books selling at 10 cents a piece, making a whopping dollar and 60 cents in the fourth grade alone. And then, out of nowhere, just before I entered high school, my family very peacefully decided to move to the Middle East. It was in Jordan that I opened up to the world. The fresh start was transformative to my identity. I went in as the American boy, but came out as an Arabian knight. Returning to America, my journey carried on. American high school became the playground of my teenage years, as I gave chase to the opportunities I had once overlooked. Opportunities such as writing for the school paper, bringing comics back to both my school and my life, performing in shows and joining in on the vibrant life of a high school drama kid, making films and writing screenplays while forming an obsessive love for cinema, and even joining cross country, a decision I both loved and hated myself for. My friends, girlfriend, partners, teachers, and parents all became influential characters in my everyday life. But even with all this, I couldn't escape the most human of questions. Who am I? Why am I here? What am I meant for? As I contemplated these thoughts, I found that it'd be far too hard to settle on a single answer. Who I was was a collection of every scene of my entire life. What I could become was only a matter of how I cut and used those scenes to make my story. Whether it be running under the flaming sun or performing under a bright stage light, whether I was a playground king or an Arabian knight, I knew one thing for sure. I, I was just getting started. I tried to do headstands for you every time I